All right, students, welcome back. So again, my name is Eunice Mathis. I am the nurse director with Florida Training Academy, the small business that does amazing, amazing training and amazing things within the state of Florida and in Jacksonville. Um, I welcome you to the Florida CNA exam prep course. Um, we've already did the orientation in video one. So in video two, we're going to talk about how to complete the Prometric CNA application. So I'm going to be sharing my screen. Just bear with me. Okay, so as we discussed before, Prometric does many examinations for many different countries. So you want to make sure that you're on the right website. You want to go to prometric.com forward slash nurse aid with an E on the end forward slash FL as in Florida. When you get to the very top of the page, you're going to see the green icon that says nurse aid and with the state that we're in next to it. Um, different states have different testing agencies. So in Florida, we happen to have um, Prometric, but in another state, it may be Pearson View. So um, if you're if you're attending our course from, from another state or if you somehow get access to this link, make sure that you are registering for the examination in the correct state with the correct um, agency. So after you get the reading this information, um, this information here that's mainly dealing with the pandemic, if you continue to scroll down, you're going to see the application process. And I'm going to click on this little tab to see what's beneath it. When you click on the application process, it gives you an option for an online application form and also the paper application form. Um, in your class, your, your instructor will have the paper application form printed out for you just as a reference for you to, to look at, but none of our students will be completing a paper application. All of our students complete the online application. Number one is more secure, and then number two, you are able to track your application. So once you click on the online application form, if you've never been, um, if you've never registered with Prometric before, you're going to have to go here to register new user. And when you register as a new user, you're going to have to enter your email address and they're going to send an email to you to confirm um, authenticity that is actually your email account. Another reason they're doing that is whenever they send your um, authorization to test or your um, testing letter um, and you say that you don't receive it, well, you've already proved that you had access to the email address. So make sure that you're checking your emails, including your spam mail, from um, any mail that comes from Prometric because they do not call you, they do not send you a written letter. All the communications are sent electronically. So since I'm already registered as a user, I'm gonna go ahead and log in. All right, and so I, um, I submit applications for um, students who come from different agencies, um, but I, unless you just really need me to help you, I, I can, but the easiest thing to do is once you've um, logged in, you're gonna go here to the right hand part of your screen. You're gonna submit a new application. And once you submit your application, you won't see the multiple applications that I have here. You'll only see the one application that you've submitted. So we're gonna start, we're gonna submit a new application. And then it's going to tell you to select your program. Well, we either know it's Florida Board of Nursing or Florida Department of Health. And let's see here, they have the Florida Certified Nursing Assistant application after 7 1 2012. And yes, that date is old, but this is the one that we're going to be using. So it's the Florida Certified Nursing Assistant application after 7 1 2012. And of course, this is 2021. So if they happen to change the date, look for the Florida Certified Nursing Assistant exact. Um, application as the program that you're selecting. And now we're going to press submit. All right, so social security number is going to be required. And let me start here with the stop sign. The stop sign lets you know that before you enter your name, check your government issued identification um, that, will you, that you'll be using for the admission to testing. If the name you use below does not exactly match the name on the, on the identification you provide on the day of testing, you will not be allowed to test. So a scenario would be you, um, you, you got married and your identification, um, you may have put your maiden name, but on your testing application, you put your married name. So when you go and you take the test, 
because you have two different last names, you've forfeited your fees. So make sure whatever name you put on this application matches the name on the government identification you'll be using as entrance into the test. So from um, social security number, self-explanatory, you're gonna enter that information securely into their website. You will not have a Prometric ID until you submit the application. The only persons who would have a Prometric ID would be someone who has taken the test previously and um, were not successful, um, but this is not asterisk, so this is not something that has to be entered. So you submit your social security number, and then if you've ever taken a CNA exam before, you have to indicate um, you know, the last date that you've done, but for most of our students, this is their first time taking the exam, so that box is gonna be no. Last name, first name, even though it's not an asterisk here, if you have a middle name on your driver's license or whatever ID you're gonna be using for the test, you have to indicate and put the middle initial here. You have to, otherwise they're gonna see you're two different people. In a previous video, I discussed that the address does not have to match what's on your government ID. So if you're a college student currently living in a dorm, please do not put your dorm address here. Please put maybe your parents or your permanent address. That way you can get access to your license, which will be mailed to you, and I'll see your renewal letters that come from the Board of Nursing, usually biannually, excuse me, every two years. All right, rest of this is self-explanatory, your phone number, um, your date of birth, your email address. Remember, they've already had you confirm um, that it's your email address, and this is how all the communication will be sent to you. Your other demographics, such as your race. If you're over the age of 18, you do not need a high school diploma to take the Florida CNA examination. And then, of course, your gender. This next area talks about criminal and Medicaid slash Medicare fraud. And normally, if number one is no, there's a little reminder right here that if you answer no to number one, you can skip to question two. So you don't have to answer the A, B, C, D, E. You just go to number two. And if number two is one, same. I'm sorry, if number two is no, it'll be the same exact um, pattern. If three is no, you skip to four on down to disciplinary history. Disciplinary history, please read through it. And if any of it is applicable, select yes. For most of our students, the answer is going to be no. So you select no. Criminal history. The state of Florida is somewhat unforgiving. Um, juvenile records do count in the state of Florida. So um, don't be surprised if you did something as a teenager and that you had it sealed and the Board of Nursing writes you and asks you to unseal it. But they're asking, have you ever been convicted of a crime? Have you ever? So it doesn't you know, exclude juvenile defenses or offenses, excuse me. Have you ever been convicted of a crime? And um, they're reminding you here that driving with a license that's suspended or revoked, or driving under the influence, or driving while impaired, or not minor traffic offenses for the purposes of this question. So if you got a speeding ticket, that's not necessarily a crime. But if you have DWI, you want to make sure you indicate so by um, putting by checking yes in the criminal history box. The second question asks, have you had any records sealed? And again, if the state of Florida is concerned about anything that's in your background, they will send you a, the state of Florida will actually send you mail. Um, they're gonna, the board of nursing will send you a letter saying that, hey, we found something in your background. We can't authorize your CNA examination. You may have to speak with the board and provide character letters. And if you have any questions regarding that process, please feel free to contact me or your course instructor. And then lastly, have you ever been adjudicated um, delinquent or have had adjudication of delinquency withheld? And for most of us, it's going to be no. The health history part talks about drug addiction. Um, have you been admitted into any treatments or um, substance programs? And again, for most of our student base, the answer is going to be no. However, if you do select yes, you have to get a, a letter from your licensed healthcare practitioner, and you also have to write a letter explaining. So for the certification option and eligibility, E1 and E2 are for those who attended 120 hour courses that included clinicals. For most of our students, that will not be the case. You will not be attending school for 120 hours because most of you are pre-nursing and pre-med and you just wanna take the course and challenge the CNA examination so that you can you know, get into your nursing program faster. So for every of for most of our students, you're gonna be selecting E3 Challenger. And whenever you select E3 Challenger, when you do take your test and pass and you're issued your license, your license does not say the route by which you obtain your CNA license. Our students are fast learners. They learn their skills, they pass their test and they get hired at every hospital within Jacksonville. So again, we've been doing this for over a decade and we have a, a great success you know, rate. 
if you are taking the test as a challenger, E3 challenger, which says here you've never been trained as a nursing assistant and you have no nursing assistant experience, they don't they don't consider the course you're taking with us exam prep school. Exam prep is not school. We're literally teaching you over two, three, and or five days what's needed for you to pass the test. So we're pretty much your CNA tutors. We're helping you with your examination. Because we're not a school, you're going to not put any information and in training information. Plus it's not applicable because here it says that you only fill out this information if you chose routes E1 or E2 and you chose route E3, which is allowable in the state of Florida. For test site information, you're gonna choose the white box that says regional test site. And when we get back to the main ProMetric screen, I will show you, um, actually I can show you now. When we go back to the main screen, we're gonna go under candidate resources. And under candidate resources, there is a test center list. And when you click that list, you can do control F, you can do a search based on your city and you'll find the testing site that is nearest you if you're outside of Jacksonville, Florida. So go back to the main ProMetrics webpage go under candidate resources, and then click on test center list to find the test site that's nearest you. But for Jacksonville, Florida, the nearest test sites are either gonna be Acumen, if you're on the north, excuse me, if you're um, wanting to travel to the west side, which is off of Normandy, and or First Coast CNA, which is off of Phillips Highway. Um, you've chosen one of the best programs by going to Florida Training Academy for your CNA prep course, but um, you're gonna to have to go to the test site, um, either Acumen, A-C-U-M-E-N, or First Coast in order to take your CNA examination. And even though it asks for a code, um, everything is in um, alphabetical order. You'll then select your first time test taker, and then you can um, select to take your clinical or written exam, both in English, which is those fees, which are 155. You can select whatever credit card you're gonna be using. Again, you're gonna be submitting your application electronically, so you will not be mailing in application and or a cashier's check, money order, or a company check. Once you enter your credit card information and then read the information about your electronic fingerprinting, you're going to attest, you're going to agree to the candidate statement. You do not have to submit any supporting documents because you are challenging a test. Now I'm gonna ask you one more thing before you press submit, because sometimes this, um, this system will kick you out of the system. So before you pr press submit, I want you to save your application. And it's gonna let you know, okay, your application is gonna be saved now. And when you save your application and you go back in, um, you will, and I didn't write anything, but you'll then be able to, um, when you saw on the initial screen, those list of applications, you'll be able to pull your application back up. If something were to happen, you would not have to retype in all this information. But once you've saved your application, then submit it. You'll receive an email from Prometric when you know that your application was received and your application may initially be in the incomplete status. The way that you will follow up and check on your status of your application, it's under the candidate resources. You can click on track the status of my application. The letter that they sent you would have your Prometric ID. You know your last name, you know your birth year, and then your program, which was the Florida CNA examination. So your Prometric ID, which was emailed to you whenever you complete your application, your last name, your birth year. And when you submit, you're gonna be able to see an updated, um, updated status about your, your exam. If you do have questions that you are not able to answer, Prometrics phone number is over here to the left is 888-277-3500. And there's also additional information here on the candidate information bulletin. So if you just have time to read, please read that. Um, I'm not going to advise you to take the practice exam with Prometric because they charge you a fee to do so. And we provide you with hundreds of practice questions um, when you take our course and there's no additional fees charged to you. So if you need practice questions, just um, go to our resource page. And I'm now going to be stopping the screen share. That was how you would register for your Prometric Florida CNA examination. Again, my name is Eunice Mathis with Florida Training Academy. It's been a pleasure um, speaking and presenting um, to you, and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.